Just want to let you lot know that if you're watching this clip on the Fozcast YouTube channel, the full episode is now available to watch exclusively on Spotify. And it's free. Come on. So for staying in the Premier League with West Brom, Ben Foster got four grand a point. £4,000 a point. So, okay, so historically, staying in the Premier League means means 40 points, yeah? Mm -hmm. So if you, what, do quick maths, 4, 8, 12, 16, that's 160 grand, yeah? So say we got 40 points and you play, so you need to play in them games as well, yeah? Yeah, so you have to play in those games. So if I've played in... Sorry, mate, you have to play 70 minutes of that match. Yeah, you have to start the... Well, you have to play 70, 70 minutes, yeah. So as long as I play every game that season and we get 40 points, I know that is 160 grand as long as, we, as long as we don't get relegated. Yes. Now, if you play less than 70 minutes, yeah. so if you come on in the 75th minute, you get half. Yeah, so that's £2,000 a point. If you are an unused sub or you come on in 90 plus minutes, you still get a grand. You get 25%. Mate, this is why, like, I honestly, I remember winning these games with West Brom, right? And you would come off the pitch and you would be laughing and thinking, oh my God, buzzing 12 grand as well, that was. 12 grand. Don't get me wrong. The overall riding thought is we've just won a game. We are buzzing. Because for West Brom, every game was a battle. You could, you didn't, it doesn't matter who you were playing. It's a tough battle. Premier League is full stop. But every game for West Brom was a battle, right? And coming off the pitch, having three points was just like, get in there, you little beauty. Especially for the lads on the bench as well it might be a youth player coming oh, up massive but, but you know what it might be Boaz yeah uh, Boaz who was your number two yeah like Boaz n- knew he was your number two yeah you two had a fabulous working relationship you still got a great relationship now but as a number two if these incentives weren't put in place yeah. there might be a little bit of nip a little, a bit, little of, bit of resentment a little bit of resentment yeah. yeah but if Boaz comes up you come off the pitch the two of you together you win one nil and you go You've been paid. He's been paid. Everyone's because a actually, winner. Boaz does his job massively, massively really important. important job. Really important throughout the week. Yep. And keeping you focused. And and like he was very important. But tell us how important he was. Oh, to he you. was so important, mate. So influential. He's so as a goalie, you you need to know that your second choice goalie and your third choice goalie really they've got your back. You need to know that they've got your back and they're fighting your corner. And Boaz was that guy. If I, I you could not build a better second choice goalie than Boaz. Genuinely, mm. if I made a good save on a Saturday afternoon, sometimes I would I would catch him out the corner of my eye, being on the bench, jumping up and down like we had scored a goal. That's brilliant. Genuinely, I could see him and he would be jumping up and down. And there were times when I'd get in at full time or half time, and I'd, if I'd had a good half or a good game or something like the Masseur was like, oh, you should have seen Bo on the bench. Oh my god, he was. Just just jumping around like a dickhead and he was screaming I and he was buzzing that. and he was so happy for you. Was he the best number two you had? Without doubt. Yeah. Without doubt. He I was incredible. I get the impression that um, Aurelio Gomez at Watford was a very good two as oh, well. Mate, actually, do you know what? They are, they're, they're one and one and the same. They are genuinely yeah. one and the same. They are like, oh yeah, I, I, I've absolutely killed Aurelio there <laughs> because Aurelio is exactly the same. Like if I could build a perfect number two, it's Aurelio or It'd be a Brazilian Welshman. Oh my God. <laughs> a Brazilian a from the valleys yeah. with a beard. Yeah. A Brazilian with hair. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but oh, Aurelio is exactly the same. I know he's got my back. I know he's got my corner. In training in the week, if I was tired and I didn't want to do any shooting, Ben, go in, I'll do the, tra- I'll do the shooting. Do staff have these bonuses as well? Yes, they do. Like no, physios? Yeah, they're, they're obviously very... Very different to this, completely different to this. It's 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 all very relative to them. But again, it will be a relegation sort of. If as long as you don't get relegated, yeah. you, they'll get paid a bonus. Should I tell you what the other thing that really really kind of jumped off the page at me is it, it's clearly all about survival and yeah. consolidation. The cut bonuses, like they're not massive. They they're not massive. They've w- never been massive. Like with West Brom, are they a distraction? Yeah, the a cups? little bit. Genuinely, they are. Yeah, because it, it rarely it, happens that. But Blues win the League Cup yeah. or Wigan win the FA Cup. It's a rarity. It's a very, very, very rare occurrence that something like that will happen. It does happen, um, but they are... Basically, the Premier League is teams like West Brom's bread and butter. That yeah. is their be-all and end-all. The consolidating and staying in the Premier League is what makes that business run and grow and keep going the way it's going. The FA Cup runs, the League Cup runs, for the fans are the important bits. They're the bits that really mean something yeah, for the fans do. because I know, having played for Birmingham in a cup final and winning it, how much that means to Birmingham fans. This was, we're talking, this cup final was 12 years ago, right? And I still get people coming up saying that was the best day of my life. Thank you so much. I, it was the best I, day of my life. Best day of my life. People buy me pints. We were on the train. We went into first class the other day because the train attendant was a blues fan. He was like, you ain't paying, lads. Your money's no good here, Your he money's said. no good here. Let's us in. And that, I said, cheer, mate. That is, that is exactly <laughs> what it does, though. That is, it's like, 
as a football fan, to see your club win a major trophy at Wembley is the pinnacle. Like, I'm not even a Blues fan, right? And I'm not a Wrexham fan. But those two, and Watford with that, but those cup final ones, Special. like you go, the best moment in yeah. your football fan life, it's a cup final. Yeah. It's a playoff final. A boom. Which is, I always think that's like the, right, I'm a Wolves fan, right? And I always think it's such a tricky balance between the Premier League and the Championship. Yeah. Because the Premier League, you go to all the big stadiums, you see the best players in the world and stuff. But you're getting beat most weeks, right? Yeah. And Getting relegated from the Prem, it's heartbreaking. I've yeah. been there. But then when you go back into the championship, you start winning. Winning. And it Good feels, buzz about the place. It feels great. Yeah. And then you get a run together and you win more often than not. Heck yeah. And then like we've said before, if you could bottle that playoff final route, that is... Oh, like when, Watford, when, when you went up with Watford in 05, 06, yeah. was it? Best feeling in the world. Oh, that. what a day. Yeah, what a day. Honestly, it's incredible. So cup bonuses, yeah. tangent. <laughs> cup bonuses. I was really surprised. So do you remember what your... If you won the FA Cup final <sighs> at West Brom... I'm going to go 50 grand. 25 grand. Per person. 25 grand a person, wow. yeah. Yeah, that's... Um, yeah, 25... So that's what I'm saying. So it's the equivalent of basically winning two Premier League games back to back. That's mad, that's, isn't that's it? How, that's how much emphasis is clubs on... like West Brom will put on the Premier League. It's yeah. the equivalent of winning two two games back-to-back -back in the Premier League is winning the FA Cup. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? And then League Cup final. Oh, I'll be peeing at 15 grand. Seven and a half. Seven, seven and a half thousand pounds. That's yeah. what I mean. It's, I'd say, I'd say winning the cup is, it's, it's nothing to do with money. So any, any of the players would not even be thinking about the money. It's when you get to that semi final stage, and genuinely that is the stage that you think about it. Quarterfinals, you're, you're kind of still sort of, you know, eight teams away. Um, but when you get to semi final stage, it's, it's like, oh, we could have a genuine day out at Wembley. Do you know? remember when we was at Watford and we beat Wolves in that semi-final? That, like, that winning that game was just, oh, and the change rooms afterwards, it's like, oh, my God, like, we are actually going to go to Wembley and play it's in the cup final. It. And then we realised we were playing Man City and thought, oh, shit. Here's, here's here one for you then. Would you rather, so let's say when you were in your Blues days, so we should do another one of these contracts with Blues, actually. Yeah. So in your Blues days, would you have rather received half a million quid for League Cup runner-ups? Yeah. Or win the cup and get nothing. I'd rather win it. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm just you're... checking your integrity. Oh no no no. Still, <laughs> still the best the best day of my life. Honestly, best day of my footballing career. Well, I've got two, but the obviously your England debut has to be up there. But the the best moment of my football career was that full time whistle going at Wembley for Birmingham City against Arsenal when we beat them. Honestly, that full time whistle feeling. Wow, I get yeah. goosebumps right now. It's honestly, it's like the horniest feeling, lads. I promise you. <laughs> what? It is. It's like it does. It makes me want to grip my teeth and just go, wow. It was just the best. And I, I only because... The, the, nah, uh, the horniest Nah, feeling. you know what I mean though, yeah. But it's that feeling of like when the whistle went, right? And you look at those Blues fans just going absolutely oh, bonkers, mate. Bonkers. 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 Flags everywhere and just absolute... Just can't believe it. I just can't believe it. And that's what it we was. We talk about it like... Oh, I still like we, talk we, about we it. We went at the club the other day, didn't we, to watch the racing and stuff. And it's still talked about. I still talked like, about, And mate. it's not even for, for like the fans, like with your mates and stuff like that. It's not really about that. It's about the day out. The day like, out, oh, yeah. Oh, the that's day I mean. out's You have legendary. a different experience, but it's still just as legendary. I would say it's better than <laughs> Probably, <experience>. yeah. Probably, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks everybody for watching. We hope you enjoyed this clip of the Fozcast. If you would like to watch the full episode, it is now available exclusively on Spotify for free.